temperature's rising, it isn't surprising, she certainly can. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today my little one here and I are going to be doing some eyeshadow. Cosmic Brushes recently launched a new palette. I think it's called Delicious Delights. It's really pretty, it's a beautiful pastel palette. And I was so close to buying it until I realized that it is very similar to a palette I already own. And so I decided to take my favorite YouTuber's eyeshadow look and recreate it with the palette I own to reinforce for myself why I don't need to spend more money on a new palette. If you're new here, hey, my name's Rachel. I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom. My little one sometimes pops in for videos. I have a couple other kids. I love to play with colorful eyeshadow and I try to upload several videos every week that are all eyeshadow related. I do hope you'll consider sticking around, liking and subscribing before you go. Let's start by priming the eyes. I have the Glamlight Icing Primer. This is the shade White Frosting. I have this one and Buttercream, but I chose to use White Frosting because it's going to give me a lighter base because I'm using all these light toned pastels. So the Cosmic Brushes Delicious Delights palette is really pretty. It is, it is really pretty. I'm sorry I'm so sweaty, by the way. Ugh. Heat wave. Anyway, the, uh, the palette's lovely. If you don't have a lot of pastels in your collection, it's probably a really great addition to your collection. I, I enjoy the Cosmic Brushes formula. I for a while thought that they were giving me a lot of creasing, but I noticed that I was getting creasing with other brands too. I think it's just a matter of getting a little bit older and the folds in my eyelids deepening a bit. So I'm not really blaming Cosmic Brushes anymore. But anyway, it's a nice formula. It's really good. The mattes are solid. The shimmers are very, very pretty. They're very light. Um, like they're not heavy, thick foiled sort of shimmers the way that a lot of more indie brands are doing, you know, what's popular right now. They're more light. They're a thinner formula, but they're still very, very pretty. So I think the Delicious Delights palette is lovely, but when I was debating whether or not I wanted to get it when it came out, fortunately I saw some videos and swatches ahead of time, I started thinking it kind of looks like a lot of the other pastel palettes, the Ice Cream Dream from Glamlight and the Natasha Denona and um, even some, you know, a little bit of the Michaela palettes and just a lot of more pastel palettes. Right. And then I saw Angelica Nyquist's swatches of the Paradise Islands palette, which I'm going to show you up on the screen. And then I went back and watched her swatches of the Cosmic Brushes palette. And I realized in owning the Paradise Islands palette, I basically own the new Cosmic Brushes palette. I will say, I am sure that the shimmers in the Delicious Delights palette are much more exciting, probably slightly higher quality, and they're also multi chrome. So if you don't have anything, then I would say go for Cosmic Brushes. But if you do have the Ice Cream Dream or Paradise Islands, you've got those colors already. So I wanted to recreate Angie's look to sort of scratch my itch for not buying the Cosmic Brushes palette and use what I actually own. Now, I forgot to go through the video and figure out the names of the shades that Angie used. I will put them on the screen as I do this, but I'm gonna tell you the shades that I'm gonna use. Here is Paradise Islands, and it's not exact, but it's gonna be pretty close. So along the way, I will show you step-by-step step what Angelica's doing in her video so you can see how I'm following along and how my colors compare to her colors. It's close. I'm gonna start with the shade Seashell in the outer half crease and lid. So let me get a medium blending brush. If you hear lots of cute noises, my baby's right next to me and she's very sweet and happy right now. And I'm a bit, well, I'm much later filming than I wanted to be because she has been a stinker at nighttime. She's really keeping me from waking up early and filming the way that I want to. So I'm surprised that late as it is in the morning right now, it's, it's almost eight in the morning, she's happy and the other children are still upstairs sleeping. So hopefully I can get this video done. Ordinarily, I would carry this color further into the crease, but I'm remembering that I'm doing Angie's look and she didn't do that. She did a little bit of color blocking. So I'm just whipping it out in the outer corner here to do a bit of a V shape. And now I'll move into a much smaller brush and the next color. Angie deepened it from here. She used a pink in the outer corner. Um, the one that I'm going into is called Maria. Now Angelica's palette came a bit broken where one of the deepest colors in the palette is actually a dark purple and hers broke. So she did not have the dark purple as an option. It was matte, I believe, to deepen. And I think she would have preferred that. But because she didn't have it, uh, she went for the dark pink instead. So here I am using Maria to deepen up this outer corner. If I'm remembering correctly, I think that the initial color she went in with, it went in with was more of a purpley pink. And this pink is a, my original pink. It's a bit more pinky pink. The undertones are certainly different. This is not, I'm not saying it's a dupe at all. I'm just saying it's close enough. 
Now I'm gonna take the shade Stingray and put that on my middle lid and crease. So basically I'm gonna create a column and I'm gonna put this right here in the middle of my crease and then I'll work it down to the lid space as well because the shimmers are gonna go on the lid, of course, but I'm giving them a, a base, a colored base. This is more like a mid-toned teal sort of shade. It definitely has a bit of green in it. I don't think the color Angie used had this kind of undertone either. I'm not too, too worried about the lid being very blended because again, it's gonna be covered by shimmer. So I'm just working the edges of the Stingray shade um, buffing him up a little bit, and then right here where it meets the pinky purples, trying to buff that lightly together as well without going too purple. Okay, now Angelica did a light minty blue in the inner crease and lid. Now, that one is one of the biggest differences I find between these two palettes is that the Paradise Islands palette is just not as minty. So I'm taking the shade Dolphin, and I'm doing that instead. This is going to blend in a lot more with the Stingray shade, and it's not giving the minty contrast that Angelica had in her look. But I don't have a minty shade in here. Of course, if I wanted to truly try to dupe the look that Angie did, then I would pull from other palettes. But the point of this video is not to say that these palettes are the same. It's just to say that they're they're close enough. They really are. So into the shimmers now. Again, the palette that Angie was using had more of a minty shimmer that she picked up. Because I don't have that, I'm going to the next best, which in this palette is called Whale. And I'm going to load up my brush and then spray it. I'll lay this on the inner half of the lid. Mainly covering up where the, the minty color is, which again, in this palette is not minty. This is pulling a lot more blue-purple toned, especially now that I've added this blue purple shimmer. It's a really pretty color. It's just not the mint chocolate chip that Angie was using. Then for the middle and towards the outer part of the lid, Angelica used a light purple uh, shimmer and I'm using the shade Tahiti, which is indeed a purple shimmer. It's not quite as lavendery. Tahiti is a darker purple. I do wish that these shimmers had a bit more pop, a bit more shine to them. The Cosmic Brushes shimmers would be prettier and they're also multi-crumbs so again if you don't have any of these very pastel palettes and you want one i would say go for that one especially if you wanted either muse or serenity you could bundle them together but i have paradise islands and this is pretty there's I mean, there's no denying that this is pretty let's move to the lower lash line so angelica started her lower lash line using a bright like rich royal blue in the waterline and then smudging it down I have basically two blue options when it comes to eyeliner. Sorry, my camera went weird on me. Hopefully it's gonna cooperate for the rest of this video. Um, I don't have any blues that are as bright and rich and royal as what Angie used. So I'm gonna go for a lighter version. This is the shade Crystal Crush from ColourPop and it is a little bit lighter than the other light blue that I have. Crystal Crush is more, more like a rich pool blue. So I'm tight lining the whole lower waterline and then I will overlap that color like into the base of the lashes as well. Okay, so on the outer lower lash line, Angelica took dark blue matte. In my case, I'm using Huahin. Huahin, don't know what that word is or how to pronounce it. And she just sort of scrubbed that matte into the, oh, now see, this is, this, this is basically the color blue that she had in her tight line color. Anyway, she basically put that into the blue that she'd laid down and then she went into a purple matte. I'm going to use Whale because it's the closest that I can get. And I'm just sort of scrubbing that into this inner half of the lower lash line. Again, it's not the same, but it's, it's a very similar vibe. And I will show you at the end of the video how this final look compares to Angelica's final look. Now for the inner corner, there's a better shade in the Cosmic Brushes palette. I don't have a shade that's comparable. I think that one was called Marshmallow or something, and it was like a, a white iridescent with some flips. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm going to take a really small brush and go into Bora Bora, and I'll use this as my inner corner highlight. I could easily dip into a different palette and grab a white, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use what this palette can offer me. And this is Bora Bora. Now, I don't remember if Angie did a winged eyeliner or not. I'm just going to finish up as I ordinarily would as I want to. I'm going out for dinner tonight, so I'll finish it up and I'll be right back to show you how it looks all said and done. 
Okay, here is how the look turned out. My little one is on my lap because she woke up, but this is this is everything. I kind of went whole hog, let me tell you why. A friend of mine sent me her favorite concealer, foundation? Foundation, sorry. It is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I have the shade 010 Light Beige, and it seems to be a pretty good match for me. I actually had to ask her for instructions on how to use it because I, I didn't know how. I mean, I watch videos where people use foundation, but I always skip forward until the eyeshadow. <laughs> But she was telling me that she absolutely loves it, so I'm giving it a try. And anyway, because I had foundation, I kind of felt like, well, why don't I just do all the makeup things at, as far as I know how to. So I've got bronzer from the Tulum Palette BH Cosmetics. I have the Tre Luce blush in the shade, but ready to bounce vacation. And then I have the Kofa Non Moonlight highlighter from Nomad Cosmetics. That is right here. Hopefully you can see. It's such a beautiful color. It actually reminds me a lot of the inner corner like blue purple shimmer that I used. And on my lips I have the Colourpop Lip Oil in the shade Paper Pansy. I have some mascara on. I did a small a small wing and an inner corner flick. I'm still experimenting with how I like to do my winged eyeliner. It's a work in progress. But anyway, here's the finished look. So you have to let me know. I'm going to show you Angie's finished look. What do you think? Do you think that these palettes really are close enough? I was looking at them, and especially when I saw the swatches, even though I think I would prefer the Cosmic Brushes palette overall in terms of formula, a little bit more color variety, slightly different undertones, and better shimmers, I do like the Paradise Islands palette. It's not my favorite Nomad palette, but it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. Again, if you don't have any pastel palettes i would recommend going for the cosmic brushes if you're okay with the shipping price especially if you want to bundle with something else overall it's a beautiful palette but so is paradise islands and as you can see this is a lovely eyeshadow look so hopefully you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful to you remember to shop your stash i'm never going to advocate that you go spend all your money on all the new pretties because believe me i struggle with this everything that's coming out and the the indie brands are just getting better and even some of the um the mainstream brands are stepping it up because they're realizing what the competition is doing and how people feel about it it. The eyeshadow game is on point, but that doesn't mean that that you have to own everything. I don't have to go out and own every pretty palette, and I don't have to own every palette even in the formulas that I love. I haven't bought either of the new Udenzai palettes, even though Udenzai is my favorite brand. I am starting to look at my collection now and be more discerning about what do I actually want to bring in that's going to fill a gap or replace something that's not as good or whatever. Like, I have a purpose other than me getting that endorphin and adrenaline rush from getting a new palette. I'm sure you understand. I appreciate you guys being with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe before you go, and I'll see you again in my next video, which hopefully is coming soon. Little one dependent. Bye!